Congrats on another great year. It's always exciting when we get to the end of a spring semester, and like you, I'm looking forward to another commencement. I think this will be my 50th commencement I've presided over. They're all unique and special, but this year we have a large cohort of students participating in the commencement exercises. A little over 600 will walk. I think of the investment we've made in their future, the students and the impact they're gonna have on our world and the pride we have all had in helping them prepare for their future. These past few months have been a whirlwind of activity and news. We celebrated a new look and focus for the Frank Museum and premiered a documentary on the history of this building. Congratulations to Will Stoudemire and Jacob Rosdale and our students for all their work on behalf of this building. Once again, our student work was showcased at the Student Research Day with more than 140 posters and presentations. Our student research continues to be a hallmark of the UNK difference, and I congratulate John Faulkner and our faculty who participate in this important work with our students. More than 3,000 high school students competed here over spring break in the state speech contest. Anytime we can get that many young people on campus, we're introducing them to the possibilities of their future at UNK. I'm thankful to Jake Jacobson and the Communications Department for all the work to make state speech possible. The Maranau Symposium was one of several important lectures, conferences, and presentations, and this year's focus on human trafficking is a timely and important topic. Congratulations to students Austin Partridge and Ivy Prater for their leadership this year, and we look forward to working with Logan Cradle and Taylor Janicek next year in leading student government. Congratulations also to Claude Louison for his leadership on Faculty Senate. The President's role is challenging and time-consuming in the best of times, but during a year of unique challenges, Claude dedicated a tremendous amount of time and served you and UNK with distinction. We're looking forward to working with Grace Mims as she takes over for the next year. Your faculty and student government leaders were key in raising the profile of the university and the legislature these past few months. The UNK and community advocacy for our budget helped our budget position tremendously by reminding Nebraskans, our state senators, and the governor of the importance of a strong university, particularly a strong UNK. As I indicated in my recent email to campus, UNK may again face a budget gap, and I'll keep you updated on these important developments. We have much to be positive about going into the summer breaking ground on the new STEM building and Early Childhood Education Center, for example. We're preparing for the opening of Village Flats. It's great to see that first building is changing the shape and skyline of our campus. We are also in the midst of remarkable progress in terms of academic quality. Dr. Bisek and our deans and faculty have collaborated on historic academic mergers of natural and social science and fine arts into a college of arts and sciences. This is our first significant change in academic structure in 27 years. Other departments and colleges are collaborating as never before with colleagues across the campus and the NU system, and innovative ideas are emerging daily. In research, faculty continue to break new ground across disciplines and are including students at every step. Richard Markowski reports that for the first time, UNK has awarded more than $5 million in research funding and that 29% of the funds awarded are being allocated to student research assistance, tuition remission, and experiential learning. I'd like to quickly mention three of those examples. Julie Schaefer and Paul Twig were awarded a million dollars of NU's $20 million EBSCOR funding to better understand plant root systems. Nearly $250,000 is earmarked for student research assistance. Alan Thomas was awarded $400,000 from NIH to design drugs to treat brain disorders, including $100,000 for student research and travel. Brian Drew was awarded $300,000 from NSF to DNA sequence mint plants, including $100,000 for graduate and undergraduate student research and travel. In addition to extramural funding, our academic mission is being supported as never before by our UNK Foundation. We celebrated their success in securing $2.8 million 
for UNK in fiscal year 2017. Remarkably, with two months remaining in the fiscal year 18, Lucas and his staff have already secured seven and a half million dollars in commitments. These are tremendous ambassadors for UNK and with you are developing game-changing relationships with constituents, donors, and our friends. To close, our colleague Ed Scantling often tells a story that a custodian was instrumental in convincing him to stay in college. His story reminds us that we can all be active in promoting UNK to high school students, being welcoming when they encounter visiting students here on campus, or be a mentor or a supporter to those in our care. This is the UNK difference. I thank you for all you've done this year for UNK. Here's to a great summer and I look forward to welcoming you all back in August. And as always, go Lopers.